Hello everyone, Silver Victorian here with Let's Play Banjo Tooie. This time we um check out what's behind these. Oh, was that a Jinjo? What was up there? There was something up there. There was a Jinjo. All right, we're jumping up there. Okay, my intro has already been interrupted. That's a new record. Hey guys, this is Silver Victorian with a new episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie. Last time we did a lot of stuff. Basically opening up areas and everything. This time we're gonna start off collecting the yellow Jinjo, and ooh, that's the third family we finished off. That's convenient. Um, and this time we're gonna go in here and see what's in here. And oh yeah, the third kid. So we now know where they all are. I'm starving. Get me some fries and I'll leave quietly. We'll have to get some fries and come back for her. Ooh, I hear another Jinjo. There's this Jinjo. There's the Jinjo. You're not a Jinjo at all. Oh wait. Um, okay, let's just jump up here. Let's see. No way, son. I'll only teach you this once you got rid of that dumb bird. You're so funny. Tampa looks like he needs some rations. Oh yeah, he fills up our life if we're not full. So, um, we can't learn that move if we have Kazooie with us. I wonder what that means. Anyway, let's just... Ooh, empty honeycomb piece. Empty honeycomb piece. Empty honeycomb. That has a crack in it. I know I can jump. Oh. Wow. That's smart. That has a crack in it. How do I destroy it? Grenades. Because grenades are awesome. Never forget that, kids. Grenades are nothing but a tool of awesome. Uh, Alright, we are pretty much done everything we can do in here for this particular moment in time. So let's just grab some fries for her and take care of something and then we'll come right back and hopefully finish off that area. Alright, which way were the fries? Um, to, the left, or to the right. Left and right. Gotta know my directions there. Alright, let's talk to you. Hurry up in order, weirdos. I'm a busy guy. So I see, we had to fight our way through this crowd of customers you have. <laughs> Quite the comedian. How about the, some Salty Joe's limp? Um, wow. Give me some fries, Joe. Yeah, fries coming right up. Or, have a nice day, I guess. I knew he would say that. Yep, me too. Wow, are you, are you guys really able to predict everything that's going to happen? Better start frying up some more, because I'm all out. Hey, you better prepare for the impending rush. What rush, Kazooie? There's no one here. Not that I can really blame them. Why would you ever want to show up here? And ooh, um, I almost said molehill, but that's not a molehill. That is a. These are split up pads. Yes, thank you for ro ruining it, there, jam jars. Anyway, this move here is the split up. Separate skills are what you lack. So let's get Kazooie out of your pack. Find your pads is what you do. Pressing A makes one become two. That's right. This move makes it so that Kazooie can literally do all of the work. Just do this, we press A, and they are separated. Alright, you have split up to change to the other character. Yeah, we have to be in a certain area, such as the pad, or another area, which a swap cloud, which you'll, I'll show you in a minute or two. Then we press A to switch characters, and then if we just combine them together, we, um, if we move them together, they become two again. Anyway, they start off rather basic. Like, Kazooie can glide, she has no attacks, and um, she doesn't even have a high jump. Banjo can run around, he has basically the same thing. He has the high jump, as good as that is, doesn't even have the roll. So they don't really start off too good when they can first split up. We're gonna have to take care of that. Um, let's go over here first. This is going to be a long set, I already get the feeling of. Um, Alright, yep. Oh, wait. oh yeah, I already got the fries. Okay. I was about to say, I, we forgot the fries. I gotta go back for them, but it's like, nope. I already got those. Taken care of. All is fine. Alright, Um. so now we're going to talk to you first, because you're annoying. Let's see. Well, you've got fries. Can I have some? Can I? Can I? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll give you some food. Let's see. Throw you the... Wow. They are all Boggy's kids. I'll go and see if Mama's ready to leave. Oh, she's a nice kid. Thanks for fi 
How can you tell where we are or be talking to us? Uh, anyway, let's just go over here and split up. Become Banjo and avoid these guys. Pretty sure when we split up, um, the characters have less life than they do when they're com um, together. I'd have to actually check that into that Minjo. is going to be trouble. Alright, up here. And let's talk to Jamdars again. Right, Banjo's now got an empty pack, so why not use it to attack? Just press B and round it swings. Bumps and bruises, baddies it brings. That'll be all. Aw, oh, man. I just I wanted to have him smack into that one more time. Anyway, we can just smack people with the pack now, and Banjo now has an attack. Actually, I think Kazooie technically does have an attack, because I'm pretty sure she's still able to use her eggs. Anyway, can't jump as high though, so let's just climb up over into here and go through this door. And, uh, these little glowing sparkly things here are, that's Kazooie's face, are the swap clouds. If we get on top of them and we press A, we can swap to the other character. Anyways, you saw that Switch had a Kazooie face and the other one had, actually, can she use eggs? She can use eggs. I said eggs. Jerk. Oh yeah, Kazooie only has four hits. That is not good. Um, what was I talking about? Right, the Kazooie space which you saw and I had to run over and where placed Banjo was a Banjo space. There are some spa um, switches that can only be used by each individual character if you couldn't guess. And that's basically just what they are here. Anyway, that activates the Pump Master 2. Which will inflate the castle. In the crazy castle stockade. And inside there are a few more mini games, which we are going to take care of pretty much right now. Other things, if you couldn't guess, is Banjo by himself can't use the running shoes, the waiting boots, or the spring pads. I'm pretty sure Kazooie is able to use all of those by herself. Which makes sense. Um, they all, each get individual moves they can use by themselves. Um, I'll get we'll get into more of those as we get the moves themselves. So. Don't worry about it too much right now. Anyway, was the pad over here? Yes, it was. Let's just jump. And, um... There has to be something up here. Oh, I remember what's up. This is where the jiggies go. Alright, so we want to go down here and into the castle. Into the giant inflated bouncy castle. This should be fun. Alright then. So we have a kazooie door, and this one is a banjo kazooie door. For now, let's do the. This is a highly skilled game, which. Ah, my God. We'll be back. We'll be back. Uh, you know what? We got plenty of time. Let's fight the boss. How does that sound, guys? I want more grenade eggs first. Yeah, let's go fight the boss. That sounds like a load of fun. Where do I learn that move? Where do I learn that move? Seriously, guys, where do I learn that move? I don't remember. Um, didn't I pass the move thing as... I might not fight the boss right now, because I don't remember where we learned the move. I remember the move, I just don't remember where we learned it. Uh, well, for now, let's go up here on top of the big top so we can open a few more things. Uh, there are some suction cup things. Oh, Black Jinjo. And um, I think that's everything we really want to take care of up here right now. Um, yeah, on top of the big ha big house, big top, that's everything. So, next stop is we want to get over to the top of the space zone. And the best way to do that is to climb up here and walk the type rope, basically. Yeah. Alright, uh, can I jump right up here? Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. Now let's kill you. Uh, carefully. Ooh. Oh, that's actually very convenient. Alright, so now that we're right here, we can, um, climb up back on the rope, jump on, jump on this, jump on, the, thank you, Banjo. And we press the switch once, and that'll bring us over to here. And is that everything right here? Can we, actually, what is it? Can we jump down here? Oh, yeah. Press B to experience the, si the scenic splendor of the cable card ride across to the space zone. So we press B and cutscene time while the 
while the cutscene takes us over to the... Yeah. Um... Yeah. Not much to talk about on this little thing. I mean, we've already seen this entire area we're going to, but this brings us up to the top of the space. Is that an empty honeycomb piece? That is an empty honeycomb piece. We are climbing up for that. And climbing up, and climbing up. Okay, so there is... Is that all three empty honeycomb pieces? I think it is. Anyway, we want to kill this guy, and there's a pad somewhere here, I thought. Maybe it's over here. We'll, we'll, we'll find out when we... Oh, I re No. Okay, I didn't fall. I didn't fall. I'm very happy for that. I remember how we do this now. We have to climb up here and then jump over there. Everything wins this game is a pain in the butt. Everything. Okay. So then we jump over here and we land on this wire. And um, if you've been listening, you hear lightning. So we just want to be careful over those exposed parts of the wire. Anyway, I just want to wait to be sure. And wait again. And wait again. Or we can just keep going because it doesn't matter. Ow! Zeppy steps out. And that is. I, th I don't know if the lightning is there before we power this up or not. Ooh, here's the jump pad. We press that switch and then there's a jump pad up here so we don't have to walk the long way next time. Nice and convenient. Anyway, we do here is we smash this switch, which opens that door. And what's behind that door, you might ask? Why? It's Glitter Glitch Mine. And that crate we've found and moved forward back, like, many, many episodes ago. I don't even remember how many episodes ago. This is, well, since I'm trying to keep it at 15 minutes of video, this is going to take a little bit. Anyway, this is the most obnoxious minigame I know. And there are a lot of obnoxious minigames. But I'm going to do it now, because I hate myself. I mean, that's why I'm trying Canary Mary's rematch the hard way my first time rather than using my turbo. I hate myself. Anyway, when the crosshair appears, press Z to fire at the targets to score points. Blue are worth three, green are two, and red are one. So go for blue. Score 500 points to win the first prize, 400 for the second. So, we want to get a lot of points. This is, like I said, obnoxious. We want to go for greens and blues primarily. Okay, I think I got those. And let's just try to get as many as possible. And like I said, really, really obnoxious mini game. I, God willing, I would do this on my first try. I don't think God's willing, but ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, good, good, good. This is kind of sad how excited I'm getting. Anyway, this takes us through the entirety of the park, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, and I'll probably finish this video all video off after this, and let's just try to get... Oh yeah, we're going to have to come in here. Get the jiggies in here. Actually, this might be a lot easier now that I have a good controller. And let's just get this. Come on, get the... Yes. And come on, come on, come on. Come on, hit the... They uh, had a reversion, like a, not reversion, what am I trying to think of? Them? Another, like, uh, one of the Jiggy missions in Banjo Nuts and Bolts was basically a minigame very similar to this, and it was not my favorite at all. I hate obnoxious minigames like that. Like, if I remember, it was just a, a vehicle which had a turret on it, and you would sit in the turret and try to hit as many of the things as possible as it moved around the level, and it was just one of the most obnoxiously difficult things in that game. There's reasons why I haven't done it 100%. Ooh, that went well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. 200? I'm, I'm, I'm halfway there to the small prize, but we want the big prize too, so... Come on. Ooh, whoa, ooh, come on. I don't know how many of those I got. Um, okay. Let's get more of those. Yes, come on, come on. Ooh, big points. Come on, big money, no whammies. No whammies. Oh man, I don't even remember what game show that's from anymore. It's been so long since I've actually watched TV. I mean, right now, basically anything I watch will be on computer. I basically got... Like, I still watch a lot of cartoons, and... I basically got the entire first two seasons and 
a decent bit of the third season of Adventure Time on my computer, and I don't care what people say, that is a very good cartoon. Actually, I don't know if they say anything bad about it, but it is a very good cartoon in my opinion. And a bunch of other good cartoons I, I've seen in... Ooh, we're, almost, we're doing pretty well, I hope. Well, I could be doing better in this area. We've almost got 400, so we'll, uh, we'll at least get the small prize. I don't know if I'll be able to get the big prize. So we might have to do this a second time. So hopefully... Come on. And come on. Okay, we got the small prize. Come on, big prize. Come on, come on. We're almost at the end. I don't think we're going to get it. I don't think we're going to get it. We only hit one. Nicely done, Bandit. And we just, like... Come on. Come on. Oh, we're going to be short, I think. Yeah, we're going to be short. Oh, well. Still, we were within 28 points of the second, pri the first place prize, so that wasn't too bad. Anyway, guys, that was pretty long. Anyway, the first prize is a Cheeto page. I believe the second prize is a Jiggy, so... Yeah, we'll go for a better score next time. Actually, I might just show you me... I'll probably just play till I get the better prize, then just pick it up from there. Anyway, guys, this has been Silver Praetorian with another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Next time, um, we'll have the Jiggy from this little mini-game, and then we'll hopefully finish off Space World. Or Space Zone area. Thing. Later. Seriously, I only did three better. Three better. You need more bleepy point. Oh my god. That is awesome. That is so being included. That is so being included. Take three. <laughs> no! Yes! No! No! What? What? Come on! Points need prizes, no points, no prize. Bleep. Yeah, I know. One freaking point! What? What? Oh, that just hurts my soul. That really hurts my soul. Oh. One point! And I really gotta drop that voice. <laughs>